Hello everybody and welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can display the percentage discount for all your products on sale. Instead of the conventional text, sale text, you'll be displaying uh, the percentage discount for each product that is on sale. And we're going to achieve this using two methods. One is the manual method and then the second method is the use of a plugin. So without further delay, let's get started. Alright, the first method we'll be talking about is the manual method. In this manual method, we're simply adding some line of code into our website and what this line of code does is it automatically replaces the default sale text on WooCommerce product to the percentage discount. Now, there are two types of code to achieve this. There is a code that only works for simple product and then there is a code that works for both simple product and variable product. Now, as you can see, this is my text editor and from here, down here to this point is the code that works for just simple product it only works on simple product and then right below that is the code that works for both simple and variable product this code and all this code will be, will be provided for you in the comment section of this video i'm going to pin it to the comment section of this video for you to easily copy and paste it on the various sections of your website as i'll be showing you in the video now on your dashboard there are two ways of adding this code into your website the first one is to simply go to your uh, appearance team editor and under your team editor you go to under your team editor for the particular team you've installed on your website you now locate the function.php once this loads up you go down and then you copy and paste the code there and it works there and it works fine for you on your website but we'll not be using that particular method because it is not advisable as there are certain things that you could go wrong if you should do that and also when you update your team the code might be wiped off so the best approach for this is to install a plugin and the plugin we'll be using for this is the wp code plugin so to do that you just go to the plugin section and click on add new plugin now as this loads up you just come here under the search you just search for wp code now as this loads up this is the this is the plugin we'll be using. I've already activated this plugin, so you're going to install this plugin and activate the plugin. So once you've done that, when you scroll down, you're going to see it's going to add a new link here, tied to code snippet. Now on the code snippet, when you hover on it, you see this drop-down menu. You come down to add snippet. Now when you click this, it's going to open for you, and then you select this first option, add your course, your custom code. Just click on use snippet. Now. On this place, you see the first input area here is for you to write your 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 add your title, your snippet title. So we're just going to call our snippet title uh, my percentage discount. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want, but we just leave it like this. Leave it simple and basic. So the next thing you do, you're just going to toggle this to active. Once you've done that, you come here to the code type. You're going to change it from the HTML snippet to PHP snippet. Now, you just go back. To, we're going to go to our text editor and we'll copy this code. We'll copy this line of code. This line of code is the one that works for just simple product. And I'm going to show you why, how it works and why I do not advise you to use it except on your website. You just use it only your website there is only simple product that are available on your website that is when you can use this particular code so now we're going to copy this code and we're just going to paste it here once we've done that we, we come down and make sure that the location it runs everywhere and then we'll click on save snippet so now once we've done this our snippet is saved and is active on the website now we can go to our page editor here now on our page editor all we just need to do is to add a new container, add a new container here. Let's give the container some padding, give it a 100 pixel all through so we can see what we're doing. Now we'll click on this plus icon and we search for product. Now, uh, when this loads up, you see this product here. This is the product we'll be using. We just drag and drop this WooCommerce product, and you see it automatically loads up the product for us. And you can see we now have the percentage discount here. So now, once you do, you see this. If you should publish this, okay, publish this and you click on the preview, you're going to notice something. Now you can see that this loads up just 
fine here but you can see that it automatically changes back to the sale instead of what we have here on our editor which is the uh, percentage discount now when you go back to your code editor you click on snippet code snippet now you, you're going to see something under here you're going to see this and when you toggle on this you just hover over this it tells you that this snippet was automatically deactivated because of a fatal error now let's activate it still and then we'll go back to our preview if we should refresh this now you're going to see what i'm telling you you're going to see the error now now this is the error that that, that got our code automatically deactivated the reason for this error is because this is a variable product and the code snippet we are using is a code snippet that works only on simple product which is this first line of code now you can see why this particular code comes with a restriction and it only works for website that has only simple product now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new um, code uh, snippet and then we're going to add the snippet that works for both variable product and simple product so now we'll go, let's go back and then let's go to our code uh, WP code and let's add a new snippet now we're going to, just like we did before we're going to click here and then we're just going to type uh, variable variable products then like before we're just going to toggle this to active and then we'll set the code type we'll set it to php and we're just going to copy this particular line of code from here drag it down to here and i'm going to explain to you how you can customize edit this code as well so once we paste it here we'll now click on save it's not active now let's go back and let's make sure uh, okay yeah this one is deactivated now that we've activated this all we just need to do is go back here and if we should refresh this page we're going to see that the error will disappear the error has disappeared and it's now working for variable product as well as for simple product as well so now when you go back to your code editor your, your, your code snippet on this variable snippet I'm going to edit it I'm going to edit it and then let, when you scroll down here you're going to see this section this section this from this line here you can add uh, text let's see where you see this high this hyphen this is the hyphen that you see here this is the hyphen here before the percentage uh, discount so now you can just add something here you can see you can add let's say a text sale and then when you click on update you click on update once this gets updated you come over here and you refresh you're gonna see you're gonna see that the text has been added here so you can easily if you intend to add a text or something unique something unique this is the section this is the part where you can do that you can add the text so that is uh, pretty much it about how you can easily add the code uh, add, uh, how you can easily do this using the manual method all right so the second method we'll be talking about is the use of a plugin and the plugin we'll be using for this is the discount percentage for woocommerce by manuel ramirez Coronel. This plugin is a very simple and lightweight plugin and it's very straightforward plugin. It doesn't add or take up resources on your website once you install the plugin. So first thing we're going to do before using this plugin is to make sure that uh, the code we added to our code snippet is not active. So we just go back down to our code snippet and then we check the variable product. Now you see the status is not set to active and then the second which is the my percentage discount is not set to active now once this is confirmed we we'll now head to our plugin and then we add new plugin after downloading the plugin here we we'll just head here and then we'll click on the plugin and add new plugin i've already added uploaded the plugin and i think i've activated the plugin as well uh, yep. i think i've activated the plugin yes i've activated the plugin as you can see this is the plugin here it has been activated now we we'll head to our editing screen and then we just click on this plus icon and we'll come here we just search for product search for product this and we're just going to drag it and drop it here 
and then allow for it to load so as you can see the plugin is working and the plugin came with a text couple came with the text alongside the percentage discount now worry not if you do not want the text it's very simple for you to edit and remove that and i'm going to show you how you can do that so as you can see this is it so now what we're going to do is i'm going to show you how you can remove this silk text here so that it's only the percentage discount so to do so you just come back here to the plugin under the plugin you go to the plugin file editor because this plugin is a straightforward plugin it doesn't come with uh, its own uh, visual editing screen so you're just going to do all the editing on the uh, code editor so you just come here you're going to select the plugin you want to edit this is the plugin you want to edit this is the discount percentage of WooCommerce select it and then loads up for you uh, as you can see it's a simple plugin so you just scroll down now when you come down this this line here if you can see this is similar to the the code we use on our code snippet you can see this line here all you just need to do is to come here and just clean only the cell you just erase this and then you can come here you can add here um the hyphen or you can just add the hyphen here let's add the hyphen here let's add the hyphen here and now you just add this hyphen here and then you erase the text here once you've done that you can even add the hyphen here as well it depends so once you've done that you just click on update you click on update and allow for it to get updated now it has been updated you now go back here and if you should delete this and then we'll add it again we'll add it again let's drag it and drop it here again and see voila as you can see it, that text has been removed and replaced with this so once you've done that now you can even edit this particular screen uh what uh, wordpress gives you the option to edit this product you can you can change the image, add border radius to your image. As you can see, unlink this and give it this kind of border radius to have something like this. You can come down, and if you want, you can come down. You can even edit the text title. You can change the text title color to black. You can change the fonts. You can change the font, the, the font size by clicking this and editing it, depending on how creative you are. You can come down, change the pricing as well, change the price color, the text for both price and, and so on. And, and even the regular price, this and for this as well. You can change it from the default to what you want. You can come down, edit the button as well, change the background color, change the, the, the edit for the um, button hover. Now to edit this badge, this on sale badge, you just come here to the sale flash here. Now you can toggle this to show it and toggle it to turn it off now you can come here change the background color as well change it to red it gives you the option to add radius border radius increase reduce and what, what have you you can even increase the width as you can see you can increase the width you can increase the height as well you can increase the height you can increase the change the position to the left to the right and then the distance as well you can do something to that move it how you want as you can see I'm just gonna leave it to default uh, this is it so that is pretty much it about how you can use the plugin and then how you can do this manually so you just hit on the publish and you're good to go so we've come to the end of this tutorial if you find this video helpful please remember to hit the like button for the youtube algorithm so that other people can find this video as well if you're new to our channel please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so youtube notify you first when next we upload a new video and also if you have any questions as to where you're confused you can drop it in the comment section and i ensure that i respond to all questions that have been dropped on the comment section of the video thank you and see you next time Bye bye